Hey YouTube, if you want to find out how to make this cute two-piece leopard print outfit, please stay tuned for this tutorial. Okay YouTube, so I am done with the shirt part and it came out really, really cute. So now I'm going to move on to the skirt. And if you remember, I said I wanted the front of my skirt to be leopard print and the back to be black. So I'm just using a skirt, a pencil skirt that I already have to trace and um, for the front part which is leopard so if you want your skirt to have a different um, print than the back then this is how you do it if not then you would just use two layers of fabric of whatever print you want and just do it at one time so I'm cutting the first layer which is my leopard and you want to leave about a half an inch seam allowance um, because you're going to sew it to the other part and it's going to get a little bit smaller. This skirt is actually a little roomy on me, but um, I'll just cut a half an inch seam allowance just in case. And here we go. And I already have it the length that I want because this skirt is actually longer, but um, I cut it down to where I want it to be. And so I really think I'm going to love this skirt because it is looking so cute already. Like the shirt and everything. I just You just know like when your outfit's going to come out good. So finish cutting that up. Half an inch seam allowance and mine is kind of whatever. So I'll come back when I'm done cutting. Okay guys, so I'm done cutting out my layer that has the animal print. So I'm using that piece that I just cut out to make, um, to cut out the other one for the black side. So we're going to just do the same exact thing. This is so simple. And now you just cut it right there on the line because you want it to be the same exact size as this one. So guys, this skirt is going to come out so, 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 so cute. I'm telling you guys, when you start creating some things that you can tell is like really, really adorable. Yeah, when you start doing some things that you see is so cute, you get like super, super excited. So I'm going to finish cutting this up and then come back and show you the next step. Okay guys, so I am done cutting my leopard piece and my black piece. So what you're going to do is place them right sides together. Just like so. And then all you're going to be left to do is pin the sides. You may want to try your skirt on just to make sure it, it fits well and um... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. After I place the pins, I'm going to try it on the C. Because sometimes it may come out a little too big. So you may have to cut it down. But you want to do all that before you stitch it. But um, pin all the way down the sides. Because that's where you're going to sew. On the inside out side. And then when you're done placing these pins down the side, you're going to take it to your sewing machine. And you can stitch this on a zigzag stitch. That's fine. I think you could probably also do it on a straight stitch too. I don't think um, it'll matter. When you're done doing that with the pins, then the only step that you have left is to hem your bottom. And so how you're going to hem the bottom is you're going to fold it over one time like that and then fold it over again and my battery sign is flashing so I'm gonna speed this up and then you're gonna add elastic okay guys I am done with my skirt I'm sorry the camera had cut off when I was trying to explain how to do the elastic but to show you what I did I sewed you put you're gonna put your elastic around your waist the part that you want it to fit well and add an inch then you take it to your sewing machine, you're going to do it on a zigzag stitch. What you're going to do is stitch along the edge of the fabric and the elastic all the way around and then don't forget to back stitch. So then when it's attached to that, you're going to fold it over just like this and for some skirts you don't want like um, a stitch to show in the front. So what you would do is just take 
after you finish stitching the elastic to it turn it over it's going to be like this i don't have an overlock machine but if you have one you can overlock the elastic onto the fabric and then turn it over and it'll give it a really clean finish but if not just do it with your sewing machine turn it over and then just do a stitch on the set on this one side back and forth making sure you do it on the seam so it's not awkward and then another stitch here back and forth that way it'll still stay down when you put it on but it won't have the um, stitch you won't see it through the garment at the waist so this is it the leopard in the front and the black in the back and the good thing about this guys is you can wear this both ways if you want to wear it in the front with the black or if you want to wear um, the leopard so I'm so so excited about this outfit I'm gonna show you how I styled it in the picture so stay tuned please check out my Etsy shop link is in the description box and I do make custom orders so hit me up if you like this or you like this and something else or you want me just let me know I do custom orders thank you guys for watching I love you guys bye